Probably been too long since I've done one of these. Uh, hello everybody. It's another channel update. Gonna let you in on what's going down on the channel. I mean, in the immediate future, I have a video my friends and I recorded over the Oscars. Um, so that's... I want to get that out by the end of September. Might not happen. Would really like it out by the end of September. Soon. Soon that will be out. I have a Halloween episode that I'm a Halloween video I'm gonna record with some friends this weekend. And beyond that, I think I'm just gonna be working on Back at the Barnyard the rest of the year. I would like that out in December. I don't know how feasible it is to get that out in December. If you don't see it in December, you're gonna be waiting at least till February, February or March, because January is just not a good month to release stuff. But uh, back at the barnyard, coming down the pipeline, and that's that's the immediate future. Plus, plus hollow victories will keep happening. Um, we've been pretty consistent with that. We were delayed one month, but uh, other than that, first Friday of every month we get hollow victories out. But I'm sure that's not really what you're interested in. Um, probably the big question, I guess. Since I announced this, and it never happened, where is the Wikipedia's list of films considered the worst ranking? Uh, so I set aside a specific amount of time to work on that project, and I got to the end of that time, and I was only about 70% done with the project, maybe even less, about 70% done with the project, and it just got delayed. It just got put on hold. And I haven't gotten around to... I mean, honestly, not getting it done in the allotted time that I wanted really demotivated me from working on it. Uh, and and I just I just haven't gotten back to it. And I, I, I would like to say it will still come out for two big reasons. There are two reasons I, I, I really want that one out. One is that I got some friends to be involved in that with me. I, I got some collaborations on that one. So I, I would feel bad about getting those people to help me out and then just like not releasing the video. The other is that I, I promised when I started a Patreon I would never have Patreon exclusive content. And that 30% of the, or that 70% of, of the, the video that I have done is currently up on Patreon. Not all of it, but most of it is up on Patreon. Um, so I, I kind of feel like I have to release it now or else it's Patreon exclusive content. When will that come out? When it comes out. When, when I have the motivation to finish that, currently, couldn't say. Not in the near future. Certainly not in the near future. And of course, the shows. Uh, so drunk rankings might be over. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, for one thing, I, I recorded one on the live-action Hanna-Barbera movies... And then I accidentally deleted a lot of the footage. I still have the audio, but not most of the footage. Uh, and that that made me really not want to work on that project. And, and I've stalled out on the next drunk ranking because I, I started in on the Witchcraft series. But by the sixth one, I'm like, this is just boring. I'm getting nothing out of this. And it's not like it's a franchise anyone cares about. So since I had just done two Hollow Victories episodes on movies based on Disneyland rides, I was just going to do, like, the Disneyland Cinematic Universe. So I drunk tweeted Tower of Terror, the Tower of Terror movie from 1997. And I haven't touched it since. And, and it's because there's been a change in my schedule. I used to have someone else who would, like, close for me at work, so there would be days where I would get home fairly early and have time to, like, get drunk and do a drunk tweeting. But uh, I, I just haven't quite had that time. I mean, I could make the time to do this. It's not like this is a hard thing to hammer out. But, uh, and, and, and 
Look, I think drunk tweets will definitely come back, although I might move them to Blue Sky, because Blue Sky makes threads a lot easier to work with. Like, like on the one hand, like, fuck Elon Musk. I do disagree with him ideologically. I've hated Elon Musk longer than most people. I hated him before he ruined Twitter. But... The reason I'm, I prefer Blue Sky is just because it's a more functional website. It functions about as well as Twitter did before Elon Musk ruined it. So, I would really rather be on Blue Sky, but I understand no one's on Blue Sky right now. But if you would like to make a Blue Sky account, I, I might start doing drunk tweets over there. But as for, like, ranking videos, I mean... That was something I came up with during the pandemic. I'm like, oh, I have all this time. Let me find, l l let me find like a good series to rank with like a whole bunch of movies. And I'm like, oh, the Ernest movies. So I'm like, okay, I'll drunk tweet all these Ernest movies. And once I got to the end of the Ernest movies, I'm like, well, I might as well make a video ranking all of them. And I might as well get drunk for that ranking since I was drunk watching all of the movies. But since then, since the pandemic is over and I have a life and things that I have to do and I'm a busier person now, uh, yeah, drunk rankings is like an easy thing to cut out. I know, I know a lot of people liked that series. I liked that series, honestly, but I, I just don't think it's like something I'm interested in doing anymore. Like, I only, I only have so much time to work with and that, that's just not something that... If 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 I'm all, if I'm limited on time, if I'm limited on on what I can even put out, I don't want to waste my time on drunk rankings. That's not something I'm that interested in. Uh Matt's Fun Time Weird Movie Show remains on indefinite hiatus. I I had plans for an episode that would coincide with the release of Shrek 2 Retold, since I do have an appearance in Shrek 2 Retold, but now that's been delayed even longer, and I, I don't know when that's coming out, and I don't know if I'm gonna want to do the video I was going to do when that comes out, but... I don't know. Maybe there will be more Matt's Funtime Weird Movie Show in the future. Maybe there will not be. It's in God's hands now. And that's that's really the important stuff. Um, I mean, SS Yes is still around. It's been a while since I've, I've gotten to an episode of that. And it probably will be a while till I get to another episode of that. But that's just timing. That's just like, I got st other stuff I want to do. So SS Yes will stick around. We'll definitely see more of that. Again, Hollow Victory is running fine. Bat and the Gang should have an episode out before the end of the month. At least two. There will be at least two Matt and the Gangs before the end of October. I promise. And otherwise, that's all I got for you. I just kind of wanted to, to fill you in on where I was with all that stuff. I do, I guess I should say, I, I, I do have another thing coming down the pipeline that is like the Wikipedia's worst video, or to compare it to something I actually released, the Abed video, the Ranking Every Movie Abed References video. I do have another big, here's me talking about like a hundred fucking movies at once. I think it's gonna end up being like a hundred forty something. It's a lot. It's a lot of movies. Uh, but I don't want to talk about that just yet. Uh, I'm not quite finished watching all the movies, and that one's gonna take me forever to edit. Like, I, I, <laughs> my current plan with it is to break it up into, like, ten movie chunks, and, like, between all of the videos I release, between, like, all the major videos I release on this channel, I'm gonna do a ten movie chunk. That might end up taking me, like, two years to edit that way, but... If I want this video to come out, that's the way I have to edit it. That's just just the only way that that video is ever going to come out. So there's a chance that we're still like two years from that video coming out. But I am working on it. And I guess that's all I got. I will see you in the next one. Coconut is a good flavor for Dr. Blake. Like, it shouldn't work, but it kind of does. I was, I was already on board with this when I heard about it because... 
I had a friend who told me to put coconut rum in Dr. Pepper, and I'm like, that's an interesting combination, but sure, I'll try it, and coconut rum goes great in Dr. Pepper, so when they were like, hey, you want a coconut Dr. Pepper? I'm like, well, that just sounds like non-alcoholic Dr. Pepper and coconut rum. So hell yeah, I'm I'm I am all in on coconut Dr. Pepper. I think they've already discontinued this flavor. I hope they bring it back. It's a good flavor.